So today I'm going to start out by doing my eyes first instead of my face because I'm going to be using my Misha Lu Witchcraft Palette and these shadows tend to have more fallout and I'm going to do a black dark smoky eye. So I'm going to start by priming my eyelids with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Then I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows with my ColourPop Brow Color. This is in the shade Redhead. I did dye my hair. It's more red. <laughs> I used Arctic Fox Sunset Orange just over top of the color my hair already was. And this was the result. I kind of wish it was a little bit more orange instead of like red. So next time I dye it, I might buy the yellow shade too and mix them together. And now I'm just going to clean them up with a little bit of concealer. This brush sucks for doing this. Do not recommend. <laughs> Now I'm going to go in and set my eyelids with the shade Blur from Melt Cosmetics. And I'm just pretty much applying this all over my lid and into my crease just to set that concealer I put down. And this can kind of act as a transition as well. This is just slightly darker than my skin. Now, going in with my Misha Lu Witchcraft Palette, I'm going to very lightly dip into the shade Potion. And I'm going to apply this into my crease as a proper transition, transition shade. These eyeshadows are so pigmented, it's amazing. I barely dipped in. And that's all I need. It's just a wash of green. Now I'm going to go with this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black Bean. This is just a cream stick eyeshadow. And I'm going to messily apply this on my lid. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm just going to smudge it out. And I'm just using my finger to blend it out. The warmth of your skin really helps to blend since this is a cream. Then going back in with that blending brush that we used for that green and softly blending over the edges. And then I'm going to take the shade Broom. And again with my finger, I'm just packing this over top of that jumbo eye pencil we put down. I'm using my finger because I found that that's the best way I can get dark eyeshadows to actually stick to my lid. And I'm not worrying about any fallout because I didn't do my foundation. So I can just clean it up with a makeup wipe. Again, back in with the blending brush and blending over the edges. I'm going to go with the shade Black Witch. Taking a tiny bit and blending it on the outer corner and into my crease. I just have such hard time getting eyeshadow to stick to my eyelid. Like, why? I'm just going to go back and forth with this brush that I use for the green. And then the blending brush that I'm using for the black. And just build that up until it's to the intensity that I want it. Now I'm just going to go with that black and actually just pack it over everything. I'm having such a hard time getting any of these dark colors to stick to my eyelid. So what I'm going to do is just do this 
and then probably go in with some glitter on the lid now I'm going to go on with the shade crescent and again with my finger I'm going to pat this all over my eyelid then blending over the edges a little bit then I'm going to go on with this glitter from superglitters.com. This is in the shade Dragon Scale. These jars of glitter literally are like $1.25 and this is how you get a lot. But this is just green that's like blue duochrome. What I've done is pressed all of my loose glitters that I have so I'm going to use the pressed version. And just with my finger, I'm going to concentrate the glitter in the center of my lid. And then gently patting around the edges to blend it. This is the first time I've used this glitter and it's so pretty. Going in with the makeup wipe and just cleaning up the edges and all the fallout so now i'm going to do my face and then i'll go back in and finish up my lower lash line for foundation today i'm going to use my maybelline fit me dewy smooth foundation and i'm just applying the foundation with this foundation brush from royal and lang nicole Now I'm going to take a little bit of the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation and I just got way too fucking much. And I'm going to use this as concealer because it's super light. It's way too light for my skin tone but the coverage is amazing so it'll work good as a concealer to highlight with. Then I'm going to go in and set that with my Airspun Loose Translucent Powder. I just applied black eyeliner to my waterline and now I'm going in and smudging it out. Now I'm taking a little bit of that first green shade that I use and running that on my lower lash line as well. Now going in with the shade White Witch and I'm going to use this to highlight my inner corner. Now I'm going to apply this eyelash. I'm not really sure what this is. Now I'm going to bronze my face using the Anastasia bronzer in the shade Rosewood. And I'm using this big fluffy brush from EcoTools. Then in with dust from the Gradient Blush Kit. I'm using this to carve out my cheekbones and jawline.
For lips, I'm just going to do black, and I'm going to use my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Weirdo. Now, lastly, I'm going to highlight my face with the ABH by Amrezy Highlight. So that completes this look guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this look. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you enjoy me and my videos, you can also subscribe to my channel if you would like. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video.